Lovelace, welcome back to the channel. I told you familiar faces were going to be back again. Maddie. We're back. We're back. What are we back for? Nessie. KOH is in how many days? 40 something days. 37, I think. Okay. Well, the start of the week. Wow. 37 days to go, but we have a built vehicle that actually moves. So we're in a better place than we were last year. If you didn't see the build last year, I'll put the link in the description below. Go check out. I did a video every day. Yeah. That was wild. We did a lot of work last year. Anyway, what are we up to today? Well, this thing, she moves and grooves, but she doesn't brake very well yep. at the moment. So we're going to be putting in a new brake system. Yep. Uh, a hydro boost system from Design. Wide Open Designs. So we need to pull the manual master cylinders out, cut open the firewall, remount the um, master cylinder and hydro boost plate. Yep and design all that and get it to fit in the car and plumb it back up. And then it'll be done. So we're going to start off with just tearing everything apart up here. If you can hear noise, it is Fergus. He's ripping a bottle up, I think, somewhere yeah. right now. He's having a good time. But uh, yeah, we've got to get everything ripped apart. We've got to get that old one taken out. And yeah, yep. hopefully we'll get it done. Well, we need to get it done. It will get done. It will get done. Yeah, just I don't know. It'll be today. Okay, now we have everything off. Come take a look at our, our beautiful work from last year. Race it? ready. Yeah, that was the past tech. But <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are scientifically asked, uh, NASA approved and SpaceX approved zip ties to hold the brake um, light switch <laughs> onto the pedal so it works properly. Yep, so the brake light switch is this oh, right here yeah right there got us through race tech so we could have brake lights to get on the race course look at that bada bing bada boom that, that is desert technology right there so we have this plate here that's pretty welded on there so we're going to be taking this off taking this out and then we're going to be trying to get this hydro boost system right there into here now there's not a lot of room but we reckon that we can do it. Problem solving today, lots to do, lots of grinding and cutting to do. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a day, but it's gonna be super worth it because it'll be able to actually break. Properly. I want it to fully lock up at 80 miles an hour on the pavement. That would be nice. If you try and do that right now. Once you drive Nessie, you're never gonna stop. <laughs> No, we don't. It's a race. You don't need to stop. Yeah, the brakes are overrated. They are, but you really do need them. So uh, we're going to get to cutting and grinding and getting all this out, and then we'll see what space we have to work with. All right, guys. We have a direction now, what is it? Show me. So we're gonna have proper tie down for the tire and storage for yes. tools and whatnot. The sides of the, each side of the box and the bottom are gonna be for soft bags that lock in when you put the box in. Nice, tool rolls, all right, cool. Yeah, electrical bag on all this right. side, different tool bag on the bottom for the kingpin carts. Feel good about it? The tool bags are going nowhere. All right, Stamp, you good with it? Yes, all right. We should just switch to Bluetooth brakes now. I need a drill bit and a drill. Are you having a good day? I gotta get a drill and drill bits. I can't play with you today. I'm sorry.
pop them on in there. This is what our goal is to do is to get this booster and everything in here and clear shocks. So the only thing we were a little concerned about is, is this bolt, bolt right here. But it looks like it's going to clear, which is absolutely fantastic. That's ideal. Because we were thinking maybe we could put it on the other side, but the steering column right here is right in the way. So it looks, it actually looks good. Looks like a little fit. Yeah. Should I we like send it. it home? Yeah, why not? All Let's right. make it permanent. You ready? Let's make it permanent? Yeah. Let's make it permanent. I need to hold this here. And then if this can come up. So that's okay. Well we need to make some straps like this. Okay. That'll reach down to the side of this plate. Yeah, so we just need to make them longer. Yeah, and they don't have to be at triangle up top to start so we can get this hung into position. Tacked into position. Okay. So do we have strap steel? Or, okay. Mm, let's see what we have over here. All right, so these brackets that come with the hydro boost are not gonna work with how we want and where we need to mount that in there. So I'm gonna make other ones that will. And then I just had a brain epiphany that if we had done this with a piece of triangle, we could have just welded the whole thing to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just, then we could just weld it right to that plate that we already have. Like Bob is going to do for these just to hang it. You got the, you got the cut right. It's just. Off oh. a tiny bit this way, it needs to come this way. But you're right, we can correct with the bottom one. Why don't we just cut, we can cut the third in a different angle. And, because we're going to shorten it anyway. So we can just leave your stuff the way it is and shorten and change the angle of the third one. Yours looks good, this third one looks really good. Sit down. That's right here. Matt! Yes, sir. Bye! <laughs> Can all those come off? That is the question. I need you to buzz me on here. Okay, we're gonna burn through and burn through so this plate stays. And then we'll build off our gusset. So we have it in. We have the booster mocked up. Yep. The master cylinder on it. Yep, there's space. Figured out where our plate's going. Yep, on this side right here. Yes, there's enough room for our lines. Yep. For our power steering, we'll 90 this one. Yep, we'll. we'll and then right here. this bent. We made sure that we could still take the shock out, so Maddie geniusly put a socket on there. And now we'll buzz it in and build our mounts for it. So we can have brakes again. Yay. I'm excited. I thought that we were gonna have to get um, kind of the skittier master cylinder here, but no, it fits perfectly, which is.
right, we have been working super, super hard. Stimpy, what have we been doing back here? Because there's not been much filming back here. Right, so we went through and kind of rebuilt the back of the, of, of the vehicle so that a spare tire will sit up here. We're gonna also put a storage uh, container down here so we can put our tools and everything inside. Yep. We, uh, we added this little bull bar to keep the tire safe in case of a rear, rear collision and to keep the, the strap from getting, getting hit. And yep. then we're gonna build a little bit more of an apparatus here tomorrow where the jack's gonna sit up on top and uh, it'll be easy for you to be able to access everything. Yeah, we didn't have a jack, we didn't got it. We're, we've just made this so, so much better. The guys have, anyway. Team Rear have made this so much better today. Um, but Maddie's here, we've been working on the front. We're gonna show you tomorrow exactly where we left off from. Walter's here, he's been doing a lot of cutting and poor man with a grinder and all sorts of things. But we're gonna come back to you in the morning. And it's the next day. It's beautiful, it's a little chilly outside, but look what we have all managed to do. I'm so excited to show you guys this. This is the new tire carrier for Nessie right here. We've uh, mounted up some rigid lights right here. It was like it was perfect for it. This is where the toolbox is gonna sit in, right in here. It'll just slot in, maybe with bags, haven't quite decided. We have the new tie downs here from TMR that we have on Mischief Maker 2. And yeah, I am really loving this. We'll throw the tire up there so that you can see exactly what it looks like. And then we have these bars here, again with the TMR bungs right here. So you can actually take this middle bar off. What's gonna sit up here is gonna be a jack and a power tank somewhere. So there's lots of room, lots of places to put exactly what we need. We're a little more equipped this year going into the race, so I'm excited. Hardcore, look at that. I'm absolutely loving it. I can't wait to get the jack up in there, get a power tank up there. But yeah, that's so sweet. Boom. That's one thing off the list. Now what we're gonna throw our attention to because we are getting some uh, custom fittings done for the front, but the guy doesn't get back into St. George until this afternoon. We're gonna head on and go to the arms on the front. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did something with Nessie and uh, yeah, there was some kind of little catastrophe with one of the bolts, came loose, came out. Um, so I wanna actually upgrade all the hardware to 5.8 instead of 9.16. So that's what we're gonna do just now. That's gonna be a very important thing. So I'm really happy that the, the build kit just came in so that we can get that done. All right, so we have wheels and tires off and I welded the absolute bajingle out of this nut. This is the hardware that jiggled itself out. Then I found a new nut. It was a little bit short. I had a couple of threads on there on the nut and then I just welded it up. So um, Maddie said it was my problem because I, I did it. This is your fault. It's my fault. Saw's all it is. See if we can get this sucker out of here. Oh, it's it's working. Kinda. Oh, heck yeah, look at that. Oh, we're gonna be done. Oh right? my gosh. We're gonna be done in five minutes. Tried the Sawzall, it was a no-go. So uh, Maddie's taking over because he doesn't want to deal with my nonsense. Okay, because we're putting five eighths and everything, we obviously have to drill the holes in the brackets out. We're having a bit of a problem because we can only get from one side and the drill bit that I have is not long enough at all. So I gave Tom Tom a call over at Matt's Off Road. He is going to get something together for us. Let's hop on in the car and head on over to Matt's. They're always so nice and they always help out. Okay, we got here. Tom, Tom, thank you so much. Yeah, hope it works good for you. 
I think it will. I think it'll do the job. Right on. Before we go, we are going to lend a hand outside with a lift kit very quickly. Awesome. That's you guys what, are the best. That's what you get when you come around here. We all help each other. Well, thank you. Well, no, yeah. thank you, Tom Dom. Okay. Bye. Now, if you're attending the Off-Road Record Games in 2024 from March 14th to 16th, this is the Gladiator giveaway. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go ahead, make sure you get your tickets and check it out. Look at the muscles. Look at the concentration. So much concentration. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I don't know how it all works. So. <laughs> well, no one knows how it in works to, to begin with. It all works in unison. <laughs> you should be able to just get it up at night. Perfect. Right here. It's finicky. Jamie definitely has the harder side. Right. All right, we have everything that we need. <laughs> it's time to get. Well, it's time not to spit all over myself when I'm talking. It's time to get back to the shop and get this stuff going. Okay, back in the shop. This is my job. I'm going to be drilling holes in here so the grease gets in. And I'm going to be putting all of these in there. Getting ready to put them in the arms. And uh, Maddie is going to be doing his thing over there. Drilling out holes, problem solving, being the man. Hey Maddie, how are we getting on? Uh, good when we blew this ball up and bolt, we bent this the ear part. up. Yeah. And so I need to get it opened up just a bit more so we can get the new ball in. The okay. New arm. Oh, we'll get it handled. We always get it handled. That's right.
Oh, that looks good. Oh, I gotta get some. Um, Let's pull it forward. Yeah. Okay. That and should be good there. If we can just scan that. Can you go put a crank on that ratchet? Alright, so much has happened in the past couple of days. We've made so much progress. We have a new rear end that's super, I'm going to say the word functionable. It doesn't exist, but I say it all the time. <laughs> super functionable. Um, I'm really happy with that. We're still working on the brakes. Uh, we're waiting for those custom fittings to be done. And we've switched out all of the lower arms, all the joints in there to 5 eighths, and all the hardware to 5 eighths instead of 9 11 16s. Instead of 916s, it's been a long day. 911. 911, 9 Whatever. Anyway, it's been a fantastic couple of days heading to Johnson Valley at the end of next week, just after Christmas, to do some testing. So we just have a couple more things to get done in here that we want to get done. Then when we come back, we'll, we, have, we have a list. We'll, we'll see what damage is and repair them and keep going. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and thanks for watching.